there, it's Ashley here with this week's Stamp Crate Repeat video for your next stamp. Today I'm gonna to be making this really sweet little tag that you can use for any occasion. I think it'd be cute for birthdays or thinking of you or any type of occasion. So I'm just showing the front and the back there with the little smile die cut. So I'm gonna start out by sharing with you the products I used. First of all, I use this Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink, and I always talk about how it's my favorite, and you can really see here how dark and crisp that image is and how nice the thick lines from the stamped image came out with that gorgeous ink. I have also used the Your Next Stamp Wire Snips, and I use these gumdrops. These are the Tropical Paradise gumdrops, and I will have all this linked in the description box below so you can find it over in the Your Next Stamp store. Next, I used this Doodlebug Fall Assortment Twine. I used the blue twine there, and I just used some green polka dot ribbon that I had in my stash. I used this older paper pad. It's by Doodlebug. It's called Hip Hip Hooray, and I love these little polka dots. I thought it was really cute. Here is the stamp set for this week. It's called Cheeky Monkey, and you get this really cute little guy who's taking a selfie of himself, and you get the little smile um, word here and you can also use the coordinating die cut to cut that out and it cuts out so nice i love that die so much i also use this tag die here this is the cool tag five die set and i've used this for so many projects it's one of my very favorite tag dies it's a really nice one so let's get started to begin with i'm going to stamp out my image for the cardstock, I'm gonna be using the Recollection 75, or I believe it's 65 pound cardstock. So I'm just stamping out that cute little guy and he is such a cheeky little monkey, I love him. And then I'm stamping out this smile sentiment and you can see here how dark and crisp that image is. And that's without using a misty or anything, that's just with one stamp of the image. I always rave about the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink. It is definitely my favorite ink I've ever used. It just gives such a crisp impression. So definitely if you haven't tried it out, you need to try it. So I'm just taking the coordinating dies. I trim them apart using the wire snips and I'm just adhering the dies down with some washi tape so that I can put them through the die cutting machine. And I will show you the little reveal. There is the monkey and then here is the smile font. And now I'm going to do the little die cut here for the tag on this polka dot paper. And I'm just going to show you with the little image on it and how cute it and perfect it fits there. So I'm gonna start out by using my Copic markers for the coloring today. I'm starting with E18 for the brown darkest part of the monkey. I'm just doing his hands there. I just think this is such a cute image. I love it so, so much. I'm just going around where all the darkest portion's gonna be. And then I'm gonna go in with my next color. It's going to be E15. This was such a fun image to color and I can't wait to do it in a whole bunch more colors. I think it'd be really cute to have these on birthday cards and I just love how this could be used for any occasion. You could literally use this for a Christmas card. You could use it for any type of occasion because it's just nice and generic. So I thought these would be perfect to do a whole bunch of these tags and have them in my stash because sometimes you just need a tag at the last minute and you don't have time to make one or you don't have one for that specific occasion. So these are perfect to just pull out and use some cute patterned papers for the background. So I'm just doing the little nose there and then I'm going in with E13. And then I'm gonna go in with E11. I am just loving this new release so much. I've been having so much fun coloring up all the new stamps from it. If you haven't seen the new release, just look back a few videos and you'll be able to see a close up where I show all of the stamps that came out. There's so many good ones. I love this release so much. It was such an awesome one. So I'm just gonna do his tummy with those same colors there. And now I'm gonna do the little bit there on the ears just to make sure it's nice and darkened up. I'm going to start now with doing the phone. So for the phone I used some different green colors. I'm using G07 and I'm just adding it on the corners there where the darkest color would be. And then I'm going to go in with YG06. I kind of wanted it to be um, like a neon-y type green so I want it to be more on the light side. So I just put the darkest color for the shadowing in the side of the camera. And then I'm gonna go in with YG00 and that really lightens it up there, which I love. And then I just went back in with the G07 just to give it some darkness there in the corners. And I'm gonna take some R20 just to give a little bit of pink there on his cheeks and by his nose. 
and then I took R22 and then I took the R00 for his ears. For the background, I wanted to do blue but start with the darkest around him so it kind of gets lighter as it goes out. So I did start with B00 and went in with B000, but I actually wanted to have a little bit more darker where his body was, so I went in with B02. And I like how that looks. And then I go back in with the B00 and then the B000. So stinking cute. Now I'm gonna take my black jelly pen just for the nose and eyes. And then I'm gonna use my white Posca pen. I've been using my Posca pen more than my white jelly pen lately. And I just adding a few accents here and putting it right on the screen part so that it looks like the screen is shiny. Now I'm gonna take my adhesive and I can put this onto the tag and it just goes so perfectly on the front there. It's really all you need to put. And so I'm adding that on the front and then I couldn't decide if I wanted the smile to be on the front or if I wanted it to be on the back, but I just thought it looked really cute on the back there with the blue background. So I am gonna put it on the back and I'm pulling out some green polka dot ribbon from my stash. So I'm gonna adhere there that smile on the back and then I can put the green ribbon through and kind of fold it in half. And I'm just gonna take some twine from this doodle bug assortment. I decided to go with some blue. I thought it looked nice with the colors of the polka dots. And then I'm going to just bring it around and I tie it twice to get a little bit of a ruching there on the ribbon. So it kind of gives a little bit of a give there. It looks nicer at the front there. So I'm just making the little bow and then I'm gonna um, snip off the little pieces there. So I pulled out these Your Next Stamp glossy gumdrops. I thought these would look awesome. I end up using two of the medium lime green ones and then I use two of the small blue ones. I think that looks so nice and it really just adds a little bit of dimension there on the front. So that is my tag. I hope that you guys enjoyed this week's video and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye! Thanks for watching!